Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. We have a unboxing today and I have actually been pushing this boxing off for a couple days just because I've been so busy. I'm so excited to jump into this. So today, I am going to look at these. I have two inks and two pens. So I saw these go on sale a while ago. And I was going to get some, but then I stopped myself. And then when some... Other pens were on sale is when I decided to finally agree to get these. So these are actually new to me inks. I did at one point have a sample of these. But this is actually a new brand to Endless Pens. So I decided to go for it. Plus they had a huge discount on them. Um, so I have like a reddish pinky color and then a gray blue. So this blue-ish gray is actually called Fekete, Fekete Sass Black Eagle. And then the Pannonia ink is Okay, I cannot pronounce that, so I'm not going to try, um, but it is Kalotaseg Red. I need a knife to open this. So the colors online made these inks look really cool. So I hope they're as nice and vibrant as I saw them. But these are what the bottles look like. And you do get a lot of ink. I think these are 60 mils. It's actually more than the average. So we will be swatching these. First pen. I'm actually surprised that Endless has wrapped them. They don't normally wrap the boxes, so. Yes, I ended up getting a Caveco Sport Piston Filler. And I didn't realize it came in this like metal tin. This is what it looks like on the back. Okay, it says tried and trusted, and it's a really cool round tin. You can definitely store some goodies in here. So this is what it looks like. It has this like, it's not even cushion, it's like a felt really um, molded, like hard mold. You get your little sticker and a booklet. And then here is the pen. I don't think, is there anything else? So nothing else. I guess 
so you could stand it up like that, maybe? I'm not sure what that's for. This is really nice. I actually don't have a black Caveco, so to have one that's a piston filler, it feels really light. Um, let's actually compare this to my other Cavecos. Okay, so this is my little collection of Cavecos. And you can see all of them have a clip on them. Um, oh, so that's one thing is that the Caveco piston comes with a clip. So that's part of the pen, whereas the other pens do not come with clips. You have to buy them separately. So I have my bronze sport and I got, I want to say this is the gold clip. I have the Coeco Sport. This is the Galen Leather Exclusive from a couple years ago. So I got the gold clip to match the finial. This one is my brass. You can see it has a lot of patina to it. And I also got a gold clip. Um, this is the iridescent Caveco. And what does it say? I have it. It's the Caveco collection. And I ended up getting black because I felt like black was just cool. <laughs> Even though it doesn't really match the finial, I could definitely use a silver, put a silver on this one. But I have black. In fact, I could probably switch it out with the pink one. And then this is my, oh, I forgot the name that they call this color, but it's essentially pink. And I have a silver clip on it. And this one, I actually got work on the nib to tune and smooth it. And it writes actually really, 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 really well. So that is my collection. I'm excited to see how this one writes. This is, let's see. Oh, wow. So this screws off. Oh, look. And you have a little um, finial on the screw twist cap here. Not the twist cap, but the, the mechanism for your piston. That's cute. Nice. That's really, it seems very solid. And then you just have a cover to keep it all nice and smooth and one shape. And I ended up getting a broad because that was all they had left. I do think I have a couple of other broads. I will say it is very light. If I had to compare, it feels, uh, it's not as light as my, this Caveco Sport, but I guess I don't think I have a converter in this one, but there's a, has to be a converter in this one, yeah. There's a converter in here. And so with that weight, they seem pretty similar in weight. So let's put that away. Let's just keep this off to the side. Last but not least, yes, I got a Mosaico Memento Zero Grande, and 
I'm actually really excited about this one. I was kind of going back and forth on like the color combination I wanted because each color is quite different and they all looked really pretty. And I, I would be honest that my first pick of color wasn't available, so I decided to go with this one. And, oh wow, I didn't know that they came with ink. Awesome. And this is a blue ink. I don't have this one, so I have the Leonardo black ink. Here is the notebook. Goes into the history and the maker. So I decided to go with the Hawaii Palladium. This is a 14 karat gold. is really pretty okay I want to swatch this ink okay so let's do a close-up so this is the mosaico and it says Leonardo Mosaico on the back here. 1964. And it's, I really like this back end. I don't know what it is, but it has like this chatoyance to the back. All down here, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that. So my first one that I wanted was the green one, but they didn't have it in stock, which makes sense because it's really, really pretty. Um, so I decided to go with the blue. This is a flex fine elasticated nib and we'll see how it goes. This is supposed to be a 14 karat gold fountain pen and so I don't think I've had the um, elastic 14 karat fine so we'll see how that works and it's a piston filler I don't know if you'll be able to see the ink inside but um, and I think this is an ebonite feed is this ebonite or plastic I have to look to see, but I'm excited. These are really going to be fun to experiment with. And this is probably going to be my last pen um, for a while. So let's check out the inks first before we ink up the pens. So I got my water, I got my inks, my pens, and water brush. Of course, there's some ink in here, just a little. We're going to use my white panda cards. Just need three. One, two, three. I'm going to go with the lightest color first. And that's going to be this color, which is like the red just shake it up. I don't think there's any shimmering or particles in here. Wow. This is like opening up a 
a bottle of of white wine or something cooking wine it has like a really uh, sealed cap to know if it's been open before that's interesting okay so it's gonna be First impressions, it's a little flat looking. Okay, I'm just going to put red. I think there's going to be some really nice shading here. It's showing a little bit dull, but it's a lot more vibrant but not in a terrible way it's like red lipstick but not like too too bright so interested to see how that one is going to write in a fountain pen my next ink Panonia, Paquette Sauce, Je Black Eagle. I think this is going to be just a really nice basic dark blue black to me which I don't hate I actually prefer really dark saturated colors so this is right up my alley It's the kind of blue that you expect there to be some like red sheen to, but then there isn't. So it's like one of those blues that you want to see your red. Oh, there is. Yep, I see it. Just subtle, very subtle. Nice. Okay, so these are my new inks. I am actually pretty excited. I am going to ink up one of them with this color and probably the other one with this color. Um, yeah, so let's get to inking. So I'm only gonna ink up one pen today and that pen is going to be my Caveco. And I'm actually going to ink it up with the Pannonia Red. Oh, 
I'm going to put the cap back on. And then we're going to get some paper to do some writing. So this is my take a note. And this is just one of those, the record notebook. So it just has empty pages, but they're like grid. And it's in this small, like hand size, personal size, I think. So I have a couple of pen tests on here. We can go to the next page. So remember, this is a broad. Pretty smooth. So today is Sunday. Well, it seems like it has a very finicky, like, sweet spot. It's August. Alexa, what's the date today? August 11th. So I think it rides pretty well. It just seems like if you're not at the right angle, then you may have like um, an inconsistent line. This is the Coleco Sport Piston. This model is the Solo Black Color. I have a, oh, I have a broad I was about to put medium, but nope, it's a broad. And I am using Pannonia Calotasj Red. I think the pen, yeah, there's a couple hard starts. Could use a tune, but nothing more than that. Otherwise, it's actually a pretty decent writer. All right, I might actually play with it on my mesh and see if I can get it to write better um, when I am using a, like a slightly different angle. Anyway, other than that, oh no, it got stuck. Oh no, the cap got stuck in here. Are you serious? Wow. 
Okay, so don't twist and turn. Just pull it out. And uh, I guess you should be fine. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. And I will catch you in the next video.